Hey guys, my name is Savnare, and welcome back to the Cat Lady. In the last episode, we died! Again. Uh, we died the Dr. Professor X. Dr. Professor X, uh, killed us? And now we are in this new place. Hopefully. Okay, good. And we have to talk to these, these, uh, magical creatures. These, these lovely girls. And figure out what, oh, gosh. And figure out, um... What the hell to do, I guess. We have to figure out- so, first thing we have to do is figure out which door is correct. And that, I don't even know. Should I go- it's cause Mr. Crow over here, the crow man, promised us that one door is what we want and the other door is, I don't know, something different? So I don't- I don't even understand what I'm supposed to be- what my goal is, let alone how to get there. So this is exciting. Let's talk to- let's- oh, can I- I want to poke her. I can poke her. That'll teach you to stop staring, you horrible, ugly doll. Susan, you're the worst person ever. Can I poke the other one? Is it going to say something different? Insult? What am I... <laughs> What's funny is that this game uh, has proven to me that if you make the wrong decisions, shit happens. Like the fact that in the very beginning I defied the Queen of Maggots, and so instead of going away, maybe, the, or going back to life maybe the way I should have, I instead had to get my arm chopped off. So it's fine now, but still. So I, I'm, I'm very leery about doing things that I probably shouldn't. Ugly, disgusting, oh no. Disfigured, foul, disfigured. hideous thing. Okay, so... I guess we'll just- oh, I wanna look at them. I wish it'd stop staring at me. Okay, let's ask them some- let's ask this one on the right something. Oh. oh, these are interesting. It's something to be like, which door would the other doll point to or was the other doll a liar? Uh, let's puzzle through these. So, which door should I enter? One of the- uh, they're both gonna say different things and you can't tell which is which. So, the- the- one is going to say choice A, and one's going to say choice B, and you don't know which one is which. Which door will lead to my reward? I think that's the same thing. Which door will take me back to my world is definitely the same thing. Is the door to the left the one I should open? If one was lying, they'd say, assuming the door to the left is the wrong door, whatever the wrong door is. And as Okay, so assuming the door to the left is wrong, and assuming the, do the doll on the whatever, one doll is... Eh, explaining this is fun. I think it's the same thing. I think what's I'm curious about which door would the other doll point me to? The doll that's telling the truth would say that the doll that's telling the lie would point to which door would the other doll point me to? The right door. No, it would point you to the wrong door. And the one that's telling the truth will point you to the right door, so that's... If the- if it's li- oh! But if the one door- the, uh, the one that's lying would say that the one... The truthful one would point to the wrong door, so they're both- they would both point to the wrong door. So I have to ans ask this question and then open the other door. I think that makes sense. Uh, is the other doll a liar? Uh, the, how would that work? Let's see, the truthful doll would say yes. The lying doll is the other doll would say yes, so they both say yes, so that doesn't work. They would both say yes. If I enter the, the left door, will I get a reward? I think it's the same thing. Which door would you enter to get a reward? I don't understand how that would work. So I seem to be steering towards the... Which door should I not enter? The truthful one would say... Whatever, the right door. And the other one would also say the right door. Yeah, it's gotta be, uh... Which door would the other doll point me toward? Because I think they'll both say they'll point you toward the wrong door. Which door would the other doll point me to? So I have to go the other way. Let's see what happens. This is inconclusive. Okay. Is, is this supposed to be Achievement unlocked! The great reward! Flowers. Ha! Hate she flowers. hates flowers! You lied to me. Wait a minute. You lied. Who lied? Who lied? Who lied? What <gasps> Hi, Mr. Crow. Look at 
So I puzzled that out incorrectly. So now what? There's another door. Can I go backwards at all? I'm not so sure if I can go backwards or not. I can't. Okay, cool. So, one thing I really hope for this episode is that there's no, like, huge technical issues. Because the past... I'm back here. <gasps> Every time I do something wrong, I have to kill someone in order to get back. I get it. Interesting. Oh, now I wish I had- I could, I could just go back and check the other door. I'm super curious about that. You know what? Why not? I'm gonna just blow out this candle. See who else we get to kill. Oh, gosh. And then I'm gonna go through the other door, maybe without even asking anyone. Because it didn't take that long. I know I've been recording for a little bit, but it was just a, uh, uh... It was a very quick sequence. I'll be able to get back to it very quickly because I literally started there. I just happened to blather on for six minutes. Looks like the same hospital we were in. Yes, I get it. She's going to die. This was not as sad as the, uh... Oh, but they're igno- No, they're not ignoring her, are they? Did they just ignore her? I think they might have. What's that gross squelching noise? Ew. Ew. Uh, what is that? Whoa. Hi. Oh, it's a squelching body bag. That's cool. Is it me? I bet it's me. It's a hospital body bag. I bet it's me. Ooh, okay. It fell- Uh, can I look at it, please? Is- Okay, uh... I don't really want to open this. In my ears. Ugh. Oh, something's gonna go boo right at my face. Boo. Oh, it's me? I think it's me. It's probably me. Pretty sure that's me. Oh, oh, oh. That certainly is me, and me disappeared. Wait. Oh! Oh, I came back from the body bag. Okay. Susan? Susan? You treacherous, dirty bastard. I opened my heart to you, and you stabbed me to death in- Oh, yeah, the- the guy. You'll pay for this. I swear you will. Oh, she's angry now. Oh. This means oh. woman was right. I can't die. I'm immortal. I figured that out, yeah. That was what I was figuring. It's time to find out how very mortal you are, Doctor. I knew it. I knew we were gonna go through the, uh, through the, um, the, the Queen of Maggots' plan, regardless of whether or not we actually agreed with her. Let's read whatever this is. My name is Susan Ashworth. I live alone in this two st Oh! That's- that was the beginning. That was the beginning that she was, uh, reading to us. Suicide note I wrote. Why would you put it on this wall? So what the balls is this? Oh, I'm gonna take the iron bar, please. Ew. Can I also examine you? I guess these are other people that he, uh... He brings his victims down here in hospital bags. Wow. Into one of these padded cells. Another unlucky victim of the killer. This one looks like she's been dead for a long time. I bet this place smells great. Let's... old rusty door. It wasn't even locked. Well, I guess who... yeah, I was gonna say who would try to get out. I'm not a prisoner in here. You thought I was dead. You should never take things for granted, Doc. Because this might just be the biggest mistake you've ever made. Oh, wow. Good. Okay, cool. Oh my god, what the hell is this fucked place? If I don't find anything else, maybe I can use this chair as a weapon. Can I just stuff this in my pocket? Oh, well, that works. Stake through the heart, then. Luckily, I didn't sit in it. Still, this wooden leg might be of some use. Just needs a bit of an edge to it. We're crafting a murder weapon, everybody. There's- Oh, Okay. Uh... Run hot water. Always run the hot water. Why the hell not? There's an old bar of soap on one of the shelves. Oh, I think I get to set a trap for him. I wonder if I get to do this multiple ways. I think I get to set a trap for him in that- in, Whoa, whoa. In which he will, like, slip and fall on a stake. There is a buzzsaw right there. Let's take that. Looks very sharp. 
<gasps> Do I get to attach these together into one, like, death saw? I think I might be able to. Who the f- Whoa, okay. Why is this game so fucked? Lady with an ermine. Take the doll's head. Examine the body. This body is quite badly decomposed. Oh my god, it's a person! Oh my god! I thought that was a painting! It's a person he's constructed to look like a painting! Ooh! This body is quite badly decomposed already! While real art lasts forever, doctor's models will soon rot and fall apart! That sick man! How did he manage to hide all this madness? This is awful! This is awful! What are we doing here? I guess he couldn't get hold of an ermine, so he used this creepy baby doll instead! Uh, I must be like a famous painting for a woman with ermine. I think an ermine is like a, I don't know, a type of... Stout? I don't know. Let's take the doll's head. I could probably find some use for this. Can I start to combine anything in my inventory? Not yet. What, what did that say? Uh, can't do anything with the soap here. Okay, so I can't do anything with anything yet. So, oh god. It seems this place has been closed down a long time ago. One day when they eventually demolish it, all the evidence will get buried deep under piles of rubble. Rubble. Who is screaming? Oh! <gasps> Liz! God, it's Liz. But it's impossible. I spoke to her last night. I tried to stop her from jumping. And yet, here she is. Stuck on a metal rod. Looking like she's been dead for a lot longer than that. What happened then? Was it just a dream? Am I really going crazy? Or... Was she really there? Just already dead? Liz! Her pockets are empty. Let's take her down. Hope you'll at least find some tea peace in death. Oh, wow, uh, not even gonna bring her down that way. Oh. Liz! 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 This must be the way out of here. Who is screaming? I'm terrified to figure out who's screaming. Uh, can I get out of this? Can I use the iron bar on the door? Not here. Can I use the soap? Uh, can I use the- what else do I have? Doll's head? I- oh, the other- Why do I have two iron bars? Can I use the baby doll's head? Okay, I don't know why I have two iron bars. I guess I gotta go- stop it! Jeez, I guess I gotta go backwards and find something else. Can I open this door? I've already been in- yo. Oh. I've already been in here. Can I use the soap for whatever reason? I can. What good's it gonna do me? It's covered in lather now. It might be useful for something, I guess. Do I get to use it on something? Uh, uh, do I get to unstick the door? I'm not super sure what I should be doing here. Can I go to the left? What was over here on the left? More, more- Oh! Oh god! I've seen something like this before, the living paintings. Except this here is a dead body suspended on wires and tied to a chair! Thank you! I'd already encountered one of those. You're gonna pay for this, you bastard. Whew, I guess they expect you to go left first. That scared the shit out of me. It seems he used a lot of makeup to turn her into the spitting image of Mona Lisa. Oh god, what else is over here? Just a straight up skeleton. Am I getting more covered in blood or something? A fake skeleton. It had probably been used for teaching before it ended up here. Great. A bolt. Let's take the bolt. Uh, what can I use? What does it look like, first of all? Second of all, what can I use it for? Okay, I'm just collecting up shit right now. Easel. Oh, workbench. Easel. The doctor probably considers himself quite an artist. Workbench. I could probably make a weapon here. Okay, I think I can use different things to create a weapon and I gotta be careful uh, to do the correct thing because otherwise it might not work so let's try can we use the chair leg can I use the saw blade okay uh, I should secure the top of the weapon now so it stays in place oh I know this one I've seen someone do this I can stick the baby's head on top I think because that's not fucking creepy at all now we have a weapon uh, can I do this again? Can I use, like, the iron bar? Oh, I have a mace. Can I use the iron bar? Oh, I can. Can I use the bolt? It wouldn't work. 
Can I use the wet soap? Can't do anything with the soap here. Okay, I have the two iron bars. Now what? Can I join them with the wet soap? No. Can I join them with the bolt? The bolt needs to be secured in place now, otherwise we'll all just fall apart. Could I use the baby's head? Should get closer to Dr. X first. Okay, so I had my choice of weaponry here. Interesting. I had my choice of weaponry here. Examine. It needs a right size. Oh no, I could just find the. Uh, I could find the nut. Okay. Where would I find a nut from? Oh my God! Someone's got to be alive. I'm. Um, this is getting a uh, another poor victim of the mad doctor. There's something shiny in one of her fingers. Oh, there it is. There's the bolt. Oh, I'm gonna have to take. I'm gonna have to take it off her. I think I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna have to cut the. Uh, Oh, no, 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 okay. I know there's someone screaming over there, but I'm terrified. I don't actually want to go over there. Ugh, look at the mark that left behind. Okay, okay, I get to save someone. Girl with the pearl earring. Her limp body's positioned the exact same way as the painting. It seems the killer used wire to keep her head tilted to the side. Oh, what's gonna happen? The rusty metal locker. Let's open it quietly. Oh, okay, maybe I can get in there. Oh, God, who's in here? Oh! Scream louder, little bitch. Scream your lungs out. Louder, I said. This yes, is fucked. This is by far my favorite of songs. I hope you guys are aware that this is fucked. Would you like me to dance for you? Like, like you, I know all art needs to be appreciated. Not like right now, obviously this is fucked. It's like a poem without words. He's wearing a mask and a blindfold. He's convinced I'm dead and no one knows about this place. Well, looks like you just made a big mistake, you arrogant asshole. An instrument. Uh. I never thought you had it in you. And yet you make every fiber in my body tremble with excitement. Uh. Your body will forever be admired by those like me who understand the only pure and true. He's moving so weirdly. I want to finish off that second weapon, but I'm terrified that he's gonna kill her first. I am going to drop a save. I am going to drop a save. Savna three. Okay, and now I'm going to head back out there. Hopefully he doesn't kill her. Ooh, there's a wrench in here. Yes, let's take the wrench. Brilliant, okay, we have all the things. So I don't know why we get to make the second one, but I just feel like making the second one. I've seen uh, the, the YouTuber I watched play this before, she um, she made the baby head mace. And I'm interested in seeing what else we can uh, make here. So let's go ahead and use the nut. Tighten the nut using some tool, yeah, I got it. Use, time to go and see the doctor. Okay, I would like to use the spear, because I think I've seen the baby head, so. Return to the room. There we go. Okay, so let's use the spear to just fucking wreck this guy's shit, I think. Because holy shit, this is fucked. This is so fucked. I hope you guys are like, I was going to say, I hope you guys are aware that this is like really fucked. And like, you know what you're getting into with this. Oh, 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 what, what did I do? Uh, I shouldn't get too close without a weapon. Okay. Use? Yes. Sharp scratch. Okay, cool. I get to have a zinger. You'll feel a sharp feel scratch. A sharp scratch. Oh, right in the neck! <laughs> I get to have an action movie zinger. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh man, finally got what he deserved. I hope he rots in hell. Oh man, let's look at her. She just saved. This, I just saved this girl's life. Why do I still feel so angry? Be probably because there were a million other victims that you couldn't save. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome to the cat lady, everybody. Holy he shit. Would've, he would've killed me. I hope that recorded properly. I, like I really do. The animal. <sighs> you gave him what he deserved. Yeah, that was that was fucked. Who are you? What happened to Liz? They call me the cat lady. 
She gets to be an Avenger of the Night! Call the police. We're crafting an Avenger of the Night. We lost both our parents when we were young! We're Batman! I'm Batman. That's so fucking cool. And by like cool, I mean terrified. It's even unlocked chapter two. Unlocked. You know what? I think I'm going to end this year. It's going to be kind of a shorter episode. Um, I want to sort of do these. I might as well just do these chapter by chapter because I think I'll be. Oh, I think I'll be able to do it. So by the river, we'll get through this part first. Do I need a stone? Don't tell me you're contemplating no. suicide again. My heart is heavy enough. <sighs> It will drag me down for sure. Susan. I wonder if these are different. Depending on uh, what I chose to talk to Dr. X with. I wonder. Because I, I think I chose that she uh, ideates every now and again. Not all the time and not never. But I think occasionally. So I wonder if that changes the cutscenes we get to see. I'm not sure. I have actually no idea. I recommend you guys play this for yourselves. Because, oh god. Finally I'm back home, I will be safe here. First of all, I should wash off all the horrible memories of this night. I'm dying for a shower, something to eat, some coffee, a cigarette. I'd love to see my cats too. Let's just pretend for a minute that everything is back to normal. I survived, after all. Maybe now I can try to, jo to enjoy little things in life? Okay. Yeah, I can do this. One step at a time. Okay, we're gonna pause that here before it gets too, too far into it. I think it's gonna immediately kick up into uh, a new shitstorm of stuff. But before that happens, we're gonna end this here. What I was gonna say, oh, um, you guys should play this game for yourselves because there's tons of choices. And I think all of the choices seem to have like minor tweaks throughout the game. So definitely do this. Definitely explore all this stuff for yourself. I don't think it's that expensive on Steam and uh, the Christmas sale is coming up if it's not already out. I don't know if it's going to be on sale or not, but it's a great game. And if, if you can handle this sort of uh, for yourselves, uh, definitely go for it. It's a very small game too, like physically small. It's only, um, it's like 800 by 640. It's actually tiny. I know it looks a lot bigger on the YouTube screen, but it's actually quite tiny uh, on my computer. So that's a little strange, I guess. But it's, it's point being, it's um not very processor intensive, I don't think. So a lot of computers should be able to run it easily. Anyway, that is going to do it for this game, for this episode, I should say. Wow, thank you guys so much for watching. I have been Sabin Ray. This has been The Cat Lady. And in the next episode, I don't know, we're going to carry on with this train wreck of a game, I guess. This train wreck of Susan Ashworth's life. Maybe we'll find another parasite. Who knows? What did we have? Five? Seven? Five? I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.